I feel like this is the internet's fault uh, because I made this video about the shade balls on LA Reservoir and a lot of people asked, can you swim in shade balls? And I'm like, it's a drinking reservoir. Obviously you can't swim in the drinking water. But then I thought, you know what? We know the people who actually made these shade balls and so I could call them up and order them and sure enough, I've purchased 10,000 shade balls to try to swim in. Now, there is a scientific and safe way to test this, which would be to go in the shallow end, but I'm gonna do the YouTube way, which is to jump in the deep end and just see if I can swim. In three, two, one. Time to release the balls. <laughs> Go! Kind of surprised. Six thousand shape balls doesn't quite cover the whole pool, but it's just about there and you can see already the balls have sort of arranged themselves in crystal structures where they're close packed and then there's some boundaries between these grains we basically got a single layer of balls on the whole pool I'm gonna jump in and try to swim with them which brings us back to two one Swimming. <laughs> so this is breaststroke, and um, I can swim, but I am getting a lot of balls in the face. <laughs> oh, YouTube. A few observations. For objects whose purpose is to block out sunlight, a surprising amount still gets through. That's because even packed as tightly as possible, spheres only cover about 91% of the water surface. Light coming through the cracks and reflecting off the balls makes these really interesting patterns on the bottom of the pool. When swimming through shade balls, the other thing that hits you is the noise. They make so much noise so close to your head that it's virtually impossible to hear anything else. I feel like you're getting an extra workout, frankly. I'm gonna try a different swim stroke. I'm gonna go over to uh, front crawl or freestyle. Ow. Ow. Oh. I feel like I got like a bloody lip. Swimming is a good workout, swimming is shade balls. Next level. I'm not actually the best swimmer, so I brought over some friends, uh, Christian and Jordan. All right, let's try it. Three, two, one. Butterfly is even more challenging because not only do you have to push the balls forward, they also get pushed down and up and out. That's insane. It looks hard. You get hit in your face and your shoulders. So with it clear that you can swim, albeit with difficulty, in a single layer of shade balls, it was time to test if you can swim in multi-layer shade balls. It looks as though you could like float on the top. So I'm gonna see if I can like run across these shade balls. It's gonna end poorly, I'm sure. Three, two, one. (laughs) 
similar attempts to slide across the surface of the shade balls were also doomed to failure. Each ball is almost half full of water, so when fully submerged, it only supports around 300 grams. That means to support my body entirely above the water, I'd need more than 260 shade balls trapped <laughs> under me. You want to go forward? Okay. This is amazing! Well, we're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you guys let go? Three, two, one. Oh! I'm still, I'm still floating. Yeah! <laughs> but what about the central question? Can you swim in multiple layers of shade balls? Not getting very far. I don't think you can swim in shade balls! <laughs> I found a kind of unorthodox style, swimming mostly beneath the shade balls. It's like the guy in the boat said, you just don't move. I was, I was like swimming, swimming as hard as I could, and I just couldn't like go anywhere. But don't just take my word for it. Watch Jordan try butterfly. All right. <laughs> that was amazing. Unlike in the single layer, where the balls could easily move past each other, with multiple layers, the balls kind of get trapped against each other and act more like a solid, providing significantly more resistance. So I wanted to see if I could use this to my advantage. I'm gonna lower myself gently down with the hose <laughs> and see if I can float on top of all these, uh, these shade balls. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in! I'm floating in shade balls! This feels incredible! Cause like, I can hardly tell there's water under me. It feels like just being in a ball pit. <laughs> but it's kind of like quicksand! Oh no! That is exactly like quicksand! Oh my goodness. If you don't move, you're good on the surface, but then if you start moving around, all the balls get enough energy to sort of shift, and then you start sinking down deeper and deeper and deeper. 